So while the ground is still a bit frozen and quite wet from all the horrible weather we've had lately, we're doing a couple of little jobs on some of our machinery. We've got our 4520 here, great tractor that runs the majority of our machinery for renovation and maintenance work that we do. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take off the lower lift arms from the three-point linkage. So first of all, we're just going to make sure that the lift arms are lowered as far down as they'll go. So we don't need to start her up for this, we can just drop that all the way forward and the arms should have dropped all the way down, perfect. So to remove these low lift arms on each side we've got to remove the pin that retains and connects the lift arm here to the bottom arm, we've got a pin just here on the tractor and we've also got a little pin that goes through the stabiliser bar on each side. Put them back together and we don't lose them. Pins in here, you just need to squeeze the top of them to allow them to rotate round enough to get past and then the arm itself just slide straight off slot out the stabiliser and that's the first of them removed so on this side we'll just remove the pins here slot that out then reattach those so we don't lose them. Give this one a squeeze and a rotate, lift that out and just slide it straight off the pin there. Stabiliser arm is the last bit that we can do. Give that a wiggle. And the second one is also free. So the clips and pins that hold it together, what we'll do is we'll collect them up and we'll just pop them in the cab so that they don't end up going walk about. Then that. So to replace or to modify what we're going to be doing is having these hook arms fitted in place of the traditional ball ends. So they'll be cut off where they've previously been welded our fitter will then weld these ends on and we'll give it a spray of, of paint to tidy them up and then we'll have hook lifts on the end of our three point linkage arms so the idea behind doing this is we can leave a ball attached to the implements and instead of having to change the width of the swing arms with the uh, ball ends on we can leave the hooks on and it'll make attaching a lot easier when we want to attach the machine we will just pull up the little latch, line it up, lift straight up, release the latch, and we're locked in. When we want to then remove said machine, latch comes up, we lower the machine until it clears on the arms, and then the arms are free to leave and go and attach onto whatever else we need next. So hopefully, the idea being, it will just help to save us a bit of time, make jobs a little bit easier, particularly if on our own, for attaching and detaching our implements. So what we've done, we've just popped one of the example balls that came with the uh, lift arm hooks onto our verted rein, and just to show how that will then Pin comes up, lift arm goes underneath the ball, lifts up, locates the ball in place, latch is flicked down, and we're good to go. Then when we're finished, we simply Flip the pin back up, lift arm goes down, and we're off. So hopefully by the end of the week our fitter will have had the opportunity to grind off the old ball ends to the lift arms, weld on our new hook arms. We'll give them a little bit of a tidy up and a little bit of a coat of paint just to give them a bit of protection from the elements. We'll refit them back to the tractor and we'll have a look at attaching a couple of implements with our new hook ends on. Well, we've got the link arms back now from our fitter who's welded on 
the hook ends and we've picked up some alright metal paint uh, that we'll give them a quick spray with like I said just to give them a little bit of protection from the weather not too bothered about a, a top quality finish because it's a wearing part that uh, needs to be functional rather than pretty aesthetically so it is just to give it a little bit of protection just want the thin coat on here so that we're not getting any big quads or anything Don't want to get too much on the springs there and end up jamming them up. Just finished the first little spray on the first side of the arms. Um, it's starting to get a bit dark now and quite windy, so spraying's a bit tricky and filming's a bit tricky. So we'll catch up when we've finished spraying them. We're back inside. Last night we finished painting the link arms up, we've now got the hooks welded on. I think it's done a great job. Give them a quick coat with some rust proof hammerite paint that'll help to protect it from the elements and we'll now get on with refitting them back to the back of the tractor. First side's gone on, absolutely fine, no problems at all. What it does mainly want to now do is remove more elements of the back end that are just a little bit showing signs of weather and give them a bit of a paint up because that's nice and shiny and that's a little bit more faded. So as long as it does a job for me, I would love it to look amazing, but the priority's got to be, can it do its job? the second one on so we've now got our link arms back on with our hooks on the end and the next job we're going to attach to the quadruple A as we've got a little quadruple A job to get on with later on today so this is our quadruple A it's the eight foot wide one uh, we've got it set up currently to slit rake roll and brush certainly needs a good clean um, but when it's constantly in use almost, it is a little bit tricky to keep on top of that but what we'll do, we'll put the little sleeves with the balls on attach them onto here and then we'll get the tractor hooked up right we're going to attach the little guide with the ball onto the pin here ready for linking onto the tractor place, pin securing it and the ball ready for attaching to our new hook arms. Same over this side, we'll just remove the pin, slide it on, line the hole up, fingers through the top, locks down and we're now ready to bring the tractor around and get the hook arms on. 
Right, let's get around and get hooked up. So first thing we just need to get these set to roughly the right width. Lift out the patches. arms have took the weight of the implement we can now just release those latches and we're locked in good to go next job we'll be to undo our makeshift top link support we've got a hydraulic one on here so we need to just go around and lengthen it a bit top link out ready just grab our top link pin hopefully get that a little bit more there we go Now we can obviously lift the implement up and also control the angle of it with our hydraulic top link. Fantastic. And with the quadruple play now on the tractor, we're ready for I will work on a rugby pitch later on this afternoon. 